Well, folks, I'm ecstatic. The grin has not come off my face. I just discovered a store that sells used stuff like books, vinyl records, video games, video game consoles, comic books, you name it. Pretty much any, everything but computers <laughs> is at that used store. I happened to look in the video games section and I found a gold mine. I found a Model 1 Sega CD with a Genesis for $70. <laughs> I cannot believe I found it. I'm still just like ecstatic. The place is called Second and Charles, by the way. I found it next to the Tiger Direct I went to to buy this for my uh, uh, LAN party computer. I'll have a separate video about that. But yeah, Model 1 Sega CD. I've stuck my own uh, Genesis onto this Model 1 Sega CD, and the Genesis I got with it does work. So I'll probably be uh, refurbishing that and selling it at some point in the future. And from testing it, it seems like it has a VA6 board in it, despite it not having high definition graphics. So, yeah, that should be a good. This should this should find a pretty good home. I've disconnected my Model 2 Sega CD, as you can see there. What's nice about this, the Genesis and Sega CD combo, is I got all the cords with it. I got a controller, RF switch, power adapters, all of it. So that can be a package deal for this Genesis once I refurbish it. That'll be fantastic. I also got a few games. I got some 32X games. I got Metalhead and Doom in the boxes. The Metalhead cartridge itself looks immaculate. It looks brand new. Look at that. It's just... It looks like it was never used. Doom, on the other hand, looks like it's been through hell and back. This thing needs some, the label on this at least, needs some serious cleaning, so I gotta really scrub this thing down. The other game I got with that whole bunch of stuff was Silphied, a real copy of Silphied for the Sega CD, so that's pretty nice, it's one of my favorite games. But yeah, I even bought the bag at the store, this, this place is awesome, it was just a treasure trove of stuff. I'll splice in some pictures of what I saw at that store right about here. So yeah, stores like that are, are just amazing. I walked into that store and just went, oh, they just had amazing stuff. Uh, the record section was good. They had guitars even and used CDs and cassettes and things like that. They had also had really cool looking t-shirts. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be back there at some point. Uh, the, the store was called Second and Charles. If any of you guys have them locally, I would definitely check them out. They have some really cool stuff uh, a lot of the time. I also tested this Model 1 Sega CD, and I'm pleased to say that it does work. So, there will be a video of the the of the, uh, the music that plays from the, Genesis, from the uh, Sega CD itself eventually. Um, just to go over it briefly. Uh, it's just like the Model 2, really, except it has different music and a different BIOS. So, you know. Connects on the side, just like the other one. It has the same stuff on the back. So, there you go. Uh, not much to see there. Uh, eventually, I'll post the uh, music from it and show the operation and everything in its own dedicated video. So, there you have it. I just thought I'd show you the pickups I got from there. Uh, remember that this is my Genesis. This is the Genesis I got at the store. So, there you have it, folks. I just... Uh, used video game stores are just heaven. They really are. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. Because uh, I just thought it was really cool that I even found that this thing at all. This is definitely... I'm just so excited to have this. It's unbelievable. I never thought I would get one of these for a reasonable price. And I believe I have. So, 
there you have it, folks. Uh, there'll be some separate videos coming up on some of this stuff. So have a good one, everybody. Ciao.